Hello everyone, no you do not see double, <laughs> this is my Volkswagen ID7 Pro and this is a Volkswagen ID7 Pro S. So here we have the 77 kilowatt hour battery and here the 86 kilowatt hour battery and today we're gonna do a little drive test. We're gonna drive a bit country then uh, highway and wanna see the difference in consumption because that's very very interesting. I did this test before uh, between a Pro and a Pro S but the Pro S was a Tourer and it had 20 inch wheels where my ID7 is 19 inch wheels but today they have the same tires it's the limousine even the same color same tires a lot a lot of similarities there are a few differences this ID7 Pro S has manual seats and the normal sound system so no subwoofer but I will be driving this car and my wife Cindy is driving this car and she's at least 30 kilos lighter than me. And the Pro S has a heat pump where my car doesn't have a heat pump but today it's not cold we're not gonna need the heat anyway. So both cars are charged to 80% and then we drive and have a little fun. We are on our way, we're already on the highway. My wife Cindy is in front of me with our ID7, so with the Pro, with the smaller battery, 77 kilowatt hours. And I'm here in the ID7 Pro S with the 86 kilowatt hour battery. Um, we both have the exact same motor, the APP 550 with 210 kilowatt. We try to drive 130 on the highway if we can and uh, we have the same heat setting as well, 22 degrees. Um, we'll see if the heat has to do anything. Well, we can see that. I just have to go in here, climb it and yes, we're still heating. So the Pro S has a bit of an advantage since it has a heat pump. but. My, when I ordered my car, heat pump uh, was out of stock. I would have had to wait a bit longer. Um, also different, uh, like I said, software. Our car has 4.0 on, this car in here is 5.2. And of course, my ID7 was built uh, model year 2024. This here is 2025. And we also have above 22,000 kilometers on the odometer. This car here has 13,000. I passed Cindy in our ID7. I'm now in front so nobody can say hey she's always on the front. Of course she has higher consumption because you're in her uh, and on the back and don't get any resistance from the wind. No, no, we changed the stuff around. Um, we already had half. I want to drive around 100 kilometers. I'll be going in the same direction and then before we get off the, the exit where we turn around after f around 50 kilometers um, we're gonna I'm gonna call her and then I'm gonna ask her what state of charge she, she has and what average consumption she has <laughs> We turned around and we switched places again. So Cindy, in, my wife, is in front of me, which is awesome. And before we turned around, I called her and asked about everything. So she was at that time at 69% state of charge. So in the Pro with the small battery, I was 71%. She was average consumption 156 watt hours per kilometer. I was at 157, so barely any difference. That's so cool.
Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that? With Encharge. Encharge is an app you install on your phone and when you are at a charger you can rate that charger. Is everything working? Is the location all nice and clean? And the charging provider is so happy to get this information that Encharge is giving you stars and kilometers and with those you can charge for free. Use the link in the description below or the code battery life to get 20 kilometers for free when you sign up. The Pro S arrived with 59%, 159 watt hours per kilometer. The Pro arrived with 57%, 158 watt hours per kilometer. Let's analyze this drive and we both had uh, on, the, on the driving data we had the same time, same kilometers and uh, everything, same tires, I said it in the beginning. Um, car show, the both cars showed 105 kilometers, Google Maps says it's 106 kilometers. Average speed is 89.6, not amazing. The Pro had 158, therefore uh, correction for the right kilometers 156.5. The Pro S then correction 157.5. So that's that is no difference. It, that's nothing. There could be a bit more acceleration one time. And again, in the Pro S heat pump, in my car no heat pump and we had the heat on. I would say the first half the heat did something. Not a lot, a tiny bit, 12-15 degrees. Uh, but it did a bit and I'm sure that it has a tiny bit of a difference. But again, not a lot and the difference is not very strong. What I see when it comes to range, 461 kilometers of range in this scenario, it's not very accurate in the Pro and 505 kilometers in the Pro S. And the battery capacity is the most interesting. Again, we only drove 100 kilometers, this is not accurate, but we can see a difference between the cars. I only get 72.1 kilowatt hours out of the Pro and 79.5 out of the Pro S. The Pro is then 6.5% shows less than it should be, 77 kilowatt hour, uh, hours, but the uh, Pro S shows 7.6% less, so a bit more. So the capacity that you can get out of the battery in this test right now is a bit less on the Pro S than on the Pro, so they get a bit together. But again, I think the test shows there's barely any difference in consumption. It's a tiny, tiny bit, and it's really amazing. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you wanna support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you wanna know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.